All right, Vaughn Edmead here again. Question for you, what are you communicating? All right, there are two types of communication. So you have verbal communication and you have non-verbal communication. And I don't know why I'm always leaning like this in the video. I'm just mad relaxed, right? Sorry, I'll sit up. So <laughs> verbal communication and non-verbal communication. And it's important for you to understand that most of your communication is actually non-verbal. Most of you think that your communication is all about what you're saying, but I believe it's somewhere in the vicinity of 90%. Don't quote me on that, but it might be anywhere, I think in the vicinity of like 90% of all communication is nonverbal, which means that uh, it's not what you say, but it's other things actually. It's a, the things outside of what you say that communicate more about you, about what you value, about who you are, about what your interests are, right? About what you think about certain things. Like, it's the stuff that you don't say that's communicating the most about it. And it's so amazing because the way our God has designed our brains, he's designed it in such a way that somebody, like people can pick up on just by a slight adjustment in like your lip, you know, or a slight adjustment in your face, whether or not you really are, let's say, interested in a certain conversation or not, right? Um, they, your, your body posture, right? Like I was leaning like this before, right? But your body posture can tend to, and I'm not, I'm not saying that it always is communicating the right thing, but yo, your posture, how you're dressed, right? Um, what you listen to, um, the, your tidiness, um, where you spend your money, how you spend your money, right? It's not a hundred percent science, but what I'm saying is that usually when you take a totality of all these things, it can kind of give you a sense non-verbally of what this person values, what this person is about. So when you go to into, when you get into, the, the reason why I'm telling you all about this is because if you're dating or if you're married, what are you communicating to the person that you're interested in, that you like or that you love non-verbally? What are you, you communicating to your parents about how you value them non-verbally? What are you communicating to your kids about how you value them non-verbally? Um, what are you communicating about your education, about how much you value your education non-verbally, right? What are you communicating to uh, your, what are you communicating through your finances, through the way that you spend your money? What, are you, what, what does your spending of money show that you value, all right? What do you usually spend it on? Where do you usually spend it? In what ratios do you spend it? <laughs> you know, um, what is your do you are you always borrowing money in order to to do what it is that you would like to do? What like what is your money communicating non verbally? All right, what are you communicating to your teacher about whether or not you value education? Right, what are you communicating non verbally to your boss? You might say, yeah, boss, you know, I'm yeah, you know, I plan on doing and being the hardest worker, but. What time do you end up showing up to work? And what is that communicating? What time do you leave work? Are you trying to take extra long lunch breaks or what have you, et cetera, et cetera? So don't just focus on what's being communicated verbally. Think about what you're communicating non-verbally also, all right? Just wanted to share that with y'all. Peace out.